We love hip hop. Okay. I got a couple more topics here for us here. Did you know that Universal partnered with Meta, a.k.a. Facebook? Long time. No, no, it was recent. It was recent. I thought, it, I th- oh, I'm thinking of the, the, the company 10. Sorry. So, you know how there was, we reported on TikTok, um, Universal taking all of their catalog off of TikTok a few months ago. And it was like, yo, so what are all these artists going to do now that they're not able to have their shit on TikTok? Mm. However, what has come to pass now is that Universal has partnered now with Meta mm-hmm. and they're going to be counting the times that people use songs for sounds as part of record sales. Oh. So you know like how, like, let's say you post a picture or you post a video and then the sound you use could be Drake, uh, I don't know, uh, God's Plan. And the amount of people who use the God's Plan song as their sound for their video or for their pic on, on Instagram now they'll accumulate those things and count that as whatever amount it equates to a record sale. It still doesn't go to the artist, though. Well, the artist will get their percentage or whatever, right? Yeah. And now it also makes sense. For example, Kendrick just released his new song, but he released it on Instagram. Mm. <laughs> I love when the light bulb goes off. <laughs> Right? Drake's been releasing all these 100 gig songs on the gram. Right? Some of them have gone to DSPs after a while, but yeah. for the most part, he's releasing them on the gram. So now artists can, can now release their music on the gram, and that counts. Because Meta and Universal are now in bed together. But do you have to be a Universal artist? Well, I, I think that's for Universal artists only, but mm. like... Independent. It's just independent. Yeah. But... The, the whole counting sounds as records um, as part of the record sales. That's not just universally exclusive, though. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll play a little clip from yeah, New Rory and Mall. Let's do this. Where they were talking about the next next segment of me wanting my flowers has to do with Universal and Meta doing a deal. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I need flowers in this, but. I've been very curious since the beginning of this Drake and Kendrick beef. As to why he's putting all this music why, out. Why are both of them leaking this initially on Instagram? And I know a lot of people were saying like, oh, because the samples and like, it's about hip hop. It's about the beef. Like, it's not on DSPs because this is pure art now. Yeah. <laughs> They're just going to go on Instagram. Like, oh, I don't know if Instagram's the purest art. Yeah, definitely <laughs> like, They should have pressed it on a CD, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or the Sharpie yeah. at that point. Yeah. But I was always curious why they did that. Mm. I was like, there has to be some type of reason, reasoning with this at all. And then we even had debates of, okay, there's still affiliation with Universal and maybe they wanted Kendrick to release defaming things about their biggest artist, not on DSPs. Like, Mm -hmm. maybe that's what it had to do with. Mm -hmm. Then 100 Gigs comes out and we have the debate of like, if he cared about these records, there'd be a... I'm sorry, Meta isn't. Meta and Universal have some form of a partnership. And this is coming from a producer, Damian Young, um, who's been going viral lately as far as breaking down like royalties. He's he's I really do like his page. He does explain things for like a dumb novice like myself to really understand that type of stuff. So he last night put this out. Instead of being paid for streams, artists are being paid for the number of accounts that use their music instead. To put it simply, instead of artists being paid for activity generated by their music, such as comments, likes, shares, reposts, they are instead being paid by the number of accounts who choose to use their song instead. Which we had some knowledge of this with. So, like I was just saying, every time somebody, like the amount of accounts, they're gonna accumulate the amount of accounts that used Dusty Wallace, Yo We as a sound. Yeah. And if, let's say, every 5,000 counts as one record sale, or then that's what it is. That's still getting ripped off. There's, it's still like streaming, but they're finding other ways of uh, getting money from streams rather than just the streaming platforms. True. Because remember, there's people who go and shoot into the streaming platforms and YouTube is now a streaming platform too. Mm-hmm. But there's also people who just listen to their stuff on the gram. Right. They listen to, you know, you might be able to post like a minute of a song on the gram. And that's all they have. That's all I need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So now artists are going to be able to get some kind of compensation, at least for people using their music on the gram. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You know that's saying? good because remember how much for how much money you get for what a million streams. I um I think it's like two grand or something like that. That's not a lot. Yeah. Right. So if you can get it from multiple places now. Yeah, it's beneficial to the artist in, in a way. You know what I'm saying? Where they're like, okay, well, now at least you can count more sales. You know, I'm still going to be getting the smallest part of the percentage. However, at least I can get that small piece from over here, too. That's the optimistic view of it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I understand that part. But it's also the record companies are also getting the bulk of it. So they're finding more ways to squeeze money out of your shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's because of the, the cutbacks that they're doing at the labels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're like, okay, it that's a one-man team now that came up with that idea. Yeah. The social media department came up with that one right there. <laughs> one, hey, start. This is where they're leaking the music all the time. People do I remember half of these guys, their songs are just a minute. Yeah. 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 So even now, if you just go and use like 15 seconds on a reel. Or whatever they let you use on a reel. Yeah. Now, at least Universal, they're like, let me get that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so yeah, I man, just a little bit of industry knowledge out there for the people who are not aware of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're coming for every little cent that's coming out because, in the end of the day, there's they don't know. Remember, we went from selling actual physical copies <laughs> to. The company's getting jacked, bro. They didn't know yeah. what to do when everybody was getting the music for free. Yeah, yeah. And then they readjusted with the whole streaming plat- uh, streaming model. And then they were able to get their money back yeah, and, yeah. and start f***ing the artist over again. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but now, so many people are able to start making money in other ways. And, like, they're, you know, so many people are going independent because they're like, yo, the record company screw us anyway. Anyways. Like, how are these guys going to make their money? <laughs> like you said, there's mad cutbacks, right? Yeah. So, Man, listen, salute that. to the artist in the end of the day. Salute you know I mean? to the artist and keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. sign, man. Don't sign. <laughs> if you can have the money to fund your own stuff, don't sign. Keep it like that. Yeah. Um, we love hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop.